What's up everybody and welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and this is a review of the Good Pals Chances Playing Cards. So this deck is the Chances Playing Cards from Good Pals and a good friend James at the card in. This was originally a Kickstarter campaign which smashed double the goal that it set which is absolutely amazing. I didn't manage to pledge on that one unfortunately but I did buy a deck of these directly from James when he got a physical shipment of them. So the deck itself is a representation of taking risks in life to gain reward and have a casino-esque theme with them along with the good pal skeleton characters. The deck comes in a burgundy and a black deck and has a lovely gilded version too. The deck was designed with the quote it's not the cards you're dealt but how you play the hand which features in the deck itself. They are printed by USPCC and feature a fully custom deck. So how much are they then? On Kickstarter, the black edition was £12 and the burgundy edition, which I have, was £14 as that features a lovely matte tuck box. On the card in, the black deck is £10 and the burgundy deck is £13 and the gilded deck is also £25 or £30 and an uncut sheet is £15. So let's take a look at the tuck case and as this is the burgundy edition, this has the matte tuck case, which feels really nice. It's like a thicker style card finish and feels good in the hands. Around the box there's a dash design to frame the sides and designs on each side and also plays a part in the back design too. The front has a good pals chances playing cards text along with a skeleton hand holding some cards popping up through a crown with poker chips in it. The top just features that dotted design and the bottom ad copy has the card in logo along with the ad copy text. The Chances first edition by Good Pals released in 2022, designed by 47 Kills and manufactured by USPCC. The sides have Chances playing cards with some crowns on, that's on one side, and Good Pals playing card company on the other side with some skulls. The tuck flaps have the skull logos on there too, and the back of the tuck case is the back of the card design too, which we're gonna look at just now. So the backs of the cards have the casino theme all over it, and it's featuring some seven 777 slot machines, lucky horseshoes, a roulette spin table and so much more. As you can see there's that dot design from the tuck case design on here and the crowns in all of the four corners as well. The deck is a one-way deck which may turn some people away who don't like that sort of stuff but from a quick glance it doesn't seem like a one-way deck. It's only when you look closer at certain things such as the, uh, the two skulls on the side of the design that you'll see they are different and also the number on the wheel in the middle around a different two. I'd seen a few different designs from James of the way that these had progressed a long time and I think that they've come out really nice. I do prefer a two-way design and a little less busy back design but that's a personal preference and doesn't take anything away from these cards at all. So let's talk about additional cards now and what you get with the deck. So you're getting two identical jokers included with the deck which feature that quote that I talked about earlier and features the same design from the front of the tuck case with the hand and the crown. You get a Good Pals Hotel and Casino Advert card which is a really really nice touch I've got to say. It has the Good Pals logo and information where to find the Good Pals socials along with the details for the card in too. So you get a duplicate three of diamonds which is perfect for card tricks and much more. Before we look through the cards and you've made it this far through the video and if you're not subscribed it'd be absolutely amazing if you could subscribe to the channel and help me out and give the video a like too. It's much appreciated and if you leave a comment on the video too with your thoughts on the deck and what you think, what you like, what you don't like, if you got the deck, if you're going to get it. So now as we look through the deck you'll see that there's no standard faces here at all. The whole deck has been completely customised. So the pips have a bordered stroke kind of effect on them which makes them really pop out from the deck I think and they have a really nice black and rich red colour on there as well. All of the court cards are non-standard too and feature various skeleton designs for each jack, queen and king. All of them seem to have money popping out for them from them as well so they're like some sort of kind of high rollers and the queen of spades seems to be holding a playing card with a spade on it as well which you could use for an ace of spades reveal maybe. All of the court cards have their retrospective suits on their clothing too which makes it easy for them to stand out and see which suit they are. The ace of spades is the leading ace in this deck too and features one of the good pals logos where the skeleton friends are at a table playing cards together. I think it fits in really well with the large spade logo and the text on the top and bottom blends in with the design too and it doesn't look too forced. So the other aces also have a enlarged pip in the middle of the card too along with that stroked border design. So how do these handle? As they're printed by the United States Playing Card Company, they handle and perform exactly like you expect from a USPCC deck. They dribble nicely, spring nicely and can handle any slides and shuffles that you throw at them including a lovely pharaoh shuffle. They fan really nicely and just feel how a deck should do. There's 
not much else to say about it really. So let's talk about some final thoughts on the deck then. For James' first deck, this is an absolutely amazing deck. And I know he's had this in his head for a while and wanted to release it for a long time. And now he's managed to do that. I can see that he's going to be doing many, many more of these. Getting all those ideas that he's got together, putting them on paper and getting the deck produced and released. Helps of course when you run a playing card shop like he is. So you can promote the hell out of the deck and sell it on your existing website and promote it on your socials. The deck itself is amazing and handles great, so I wouldn't change anything about that at all. But for me, the back design was a little bit too busy, which I think I said to James before and preferred some of the older designs, which were a bit more minimal, but again, it's personal preference. Now, next up for James to release is the Good Pals Halloween Tales deck, which I haven't seen it yet. It's a Halloween themed deck and features some fantastic artwork on there with pumpkins and ghosts, and of course, skeletons hidden in the court cards and so much more. So James, if you're watching this and want to drop a deck this way once you have them for me to review, love to feature them on the channel to showcase it. I know further down the line I'll eventually get one, but uh, getting it shown before it's released would be absolutely awesome. So yeah, that's about it from me and this deck. If you've got this far, leave a comment to let me know what you make of the deck. And please check out the card in, which is the website for all of your playing card needs and other things such as um, card vials and so much more. Until next time, see ya.